I'm here with John on the eSmart Systems booth at the Commercial UAV Expo. John, what does eSmart Systems do? eSmart is a Norwegian AI first, so we have had a lot of interest from utilities uh, companies in handling, analyzing all the images that are created by the drones. So they want to speed up the handling and drive down the cost. So we are applying the newest within deep neural networks, machine learning, doing algorithms, trying to get a fix on how to automatic automate this handling. Now, when I saw you present here on Monday at the, um, the early sessions, you guys have a very innovative way of gathering all of the the huge amount of images you need to train the AI. Yeah. So, what are you guys up to there? We, we, we quickly realized that it took nearly 200,000 images of a specific problem to teach the AI and we did not have that many uh, images, Im images of, of top hats of rust and so on. So we deployed some gaming engine, we use uh, several gaming engines, we use uh, several, several uh, simulation tools, yeah. so we make 3D models, so we can change lighting, background, we can spin it around, so we automatically generate thousands of images of the problem. And that really has cut down the cost, speeded up the, the, the training of the AI. So now we can do great stuff with just very few Im images. So we are building up the catalog of all the different things that we can spot automatically. To train the AI. So I thought train the AI. And, the and once trained, it, it just knows it. Well, and then it'll build on its, its own knowledge, but it, ha it has to get to that level first. Well. Yes, yes. So, so we are pouring in a lot of man hours, a lot of investments in training the AI. So we are we are coming together with a lot of different utilities to 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 build up the knowledge, and it's really taking off now. And um, the specific use case that you called out was detecting rust on certain assets for a, an energy company. Yes, with the Danish national grid we were really put on the spot because they were pressed for time they were pressed for images so they only had 36 pictures of their steel pylons with rust and from this 36, 30, 36 pictures we had to train our algorithm and you normally need 200,000 200,000 so we really did some magic there we, 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 we turned these 36 pictures to actually a thousands of pictures by filters, by blurring, by cutting, by enlarging, and do a lot of augmentation on the images. Yeah. And and when we were set on the test, they delivered 7,500 pictures, and we have a hit rate of over 96 percent. So that was much better than their expert colleagues because they only reached about 85, 87 percent. So we were better than the human experts in this sense. Wow, but uh, yeah, fascinating about training the AI. Hey, I wish you well. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks a lot. We need it. <laughs>